welcome back to my channel it has been a minute since I uploaded a YouTube video and that is simply because honestly I am a kind of person where I if I'm not feeling in my right mind or my energy is low I am not going to put out content I only aim to put out things that are helpful beneficial to both myself and the people that are watching um, I expressed this a couple YouTube videos um, before I cannot pour from an empty cup and this is something that I always say in my everyday life if I am not my highest self I cannot present myself in any type of situation so I had to take a step back and in the future I will be taking steps back just so that I can have everything in perspective I am a business owner I am a friend I am so many things to different people and most of all I enjoy my me time so there will be times when I don't put out content and that's just simply because I have a lot going on and I need to take time for me but I missed you guys and I wanted to do this video I felt like it was so necessary not only for you to get to know me on a different level but maybe this can help someone um, I wanted to do the top 10 things that I did to change my life and especially within the past three years um, there are some things that I had to do and make adjustments and tweaks and stuff and I'm gonna share this with you guys and I really hope that you can either learn from this or apply one or two of these steps in your everyday life and then you'll see the positive changes that will come from this number one and this one I had a really tough time with it is setting boundaries now I know you probably heard of you know setting boundaries with people and certain things and stuff it is so crucial I can honestly tell you setting boundaries has put a lot of things into perspective for me um there are people and things that i set boundaries with and especially where people are concerned when i tell you people do not like boundaries people do not like boundaries and i had to learn this the hard way i'm okay with it i'm okay with it because it really makes me see the kind of person you are or the kind of person i'm dealing with um setting boundaries has become the number one thing for me and as it was hard at first when i just started but right now it's flowing it's flowing when i tell you i have boundaries there's things that i will say to people or things that I'll, i i set boundaries for myself as well it's not only about the people that are in my life but the things that i do for myself every single day but where people are concerned um this might be a bit tricky for you i know it was very tricky for me but i can tell you this if you set boundaries with people and if they genuinely care about you and love you they will not mind those boundaries they may they may have questions and stuff in the beginning but it's totally fine if they respect you if they really care about you your mental health and your well-being and just you over gen in, in in general they will not care about the boundaries that you've set they will abide by them and just continue the relationship how i also set boundaries with myself is cutting myself off or setting myself with limits with certain things um, social media not spending so much time on social media now I always spend I spend a lot of time on social media because that's part of my business um, but there are times when I'll be there consuming a lot of videos and then I realize that I get a burnout because after consuming videos you know getting general ideas seeing what people like seeing what maybe works for me I get burnout and then I don't have time or the capacity to create content so there are different things um, I set boundaries with again with other people and myself setting boundaries is one of the hardest things I had to do to change my life but it helped me and I hope it helps you too number two I stopped doubting myself um, I had for the most part especially in my adult life I have been a very positive person it took stages I wasn't always a very positive person I was very fearful um, growing up and into my young adult um, years but self-doubt was always something lingering in the back of my head like I could I would have that feeling like oh Shari don't go to this place or don't try to create a friendship with this particular person and I would just ignore certain things and brush myself off and I can tell you every single time every time I doubt myself I end up with 
the the rotten end of the stick let me say it that way i end up with the rotten end of the stick so right now i no longer doubt myself if my gut tells me something that's exactly what i'm going with um if i meet someone and my the energy is off for me i don't try to force it i i don't try to force a friendship or any kind of relationship whatever it is with that person i leave it alone i like things to happen organically and because of that again i do not doubt myself i no longer doubt myself i don't want i need to be able to trust myself in order to be able to trust other people so if i can't trust myself i will never be able to trust anyone else so self-doubt is something that i cut out to in order to change my life number three this is one of my key ones i only follow pages on social media that are beneficial to me my mental health and things or people that are either positive or people I admire i admire or um just pages that have things in common with me right i used to just follow people years ago um i'm just now freshly new like my personal page is freshly new on social media it's been a year a little over a year um before that i was just off of instagram i would just post on my business pages i would browse through um social media instagram to this was before TikTok, um to get like ideas of again what people like and and stuff pertaining to my business and i would just get off and when i was active i would follow pages you know i would just follow all my friends people i met when i go out oh follow me on instagram blah blah, blah. and my feed would just be full of absolute nonsense i would be seeing people half naked people cursing people out like throwing sub subliminals I, no i no no that's no longer for me right now i am very particular with to whom i give my energy and attention to and my social media feed is full of nothing but positivity i'm a girl's girl i love i follow some of the women that i find to be positive and stuff on my page um a few friends that are you know that a few friends that are supportive of me and stuff like that and are doing positive things i that's how i keep my my timeline so following people and pages that are beneficial to me my mental health and putting out content that i like to um interact with that also helps me to stay in a positive mindset and help me to change the way i think and just my overall perspective on life uh number four i cut down my alcohol consumption now i was never a raging alcoholic i was never a raging alcoholic um but i was a social drinker years ago i would also keep alcohol at home and drink every now and again and stuff i would drink at home but i've never when i say cut down my alcohol consumption i know a lot of people might think oh are you are you okay I'm totally fine I'm just saying you know sometimes you go out and in New York the, th the common thing to do I guess maybe wherever part of the world you are um, it's common to say oh let's go out to dinner let's go out to have a drink right it's almost like you can't go out with a friend without drinks being involved and for me right now I'm in a stage of I've lost almost all of my taste for alcohol um, hard liquor especially now i love me an aperol spritz honey i will have an aperol spritz any day right but right now i've just lost my that zing for alcohol period and i may have an aperol spritz i haven't gotten there yet but that's it anything spritzy anything light maybe a glass of wine but right now i'm just not off but i cut down my alcohol consumption i feel like it's counterproductive you drink how many drinks in one evening even if you went out one time for per week you drink all these drinks the next day you have a hangover and honey the older you get <laughs> the worse the hangover is um, you probably could have taken five six seven drinks when you were in your early 20s or something and then now in your 30s you are just like oh my god three I'm tapping out for some of us so I cut down my alcohol consumption in order to be more productive or as productive as I was as I would be on a normal day um i just find it to be counterproductive that's just me no shade to alcohol i love me a good cocktail but you can cut down everything with limits right number five 
I now invest heavily in myself. Now, I've always been someone who invested in themselves. I really invest in myself. I invest in my skin. I invest in my hair. I invest in my overall appearance. I invest heavily into my business. Um, but right now, I'm on a different level. What I just mentioned about alcohol, in New York, the average cocktail is about $15, right? To, when you go out, you're going to have at least, if you're, you know, have, hanging out with your girls, kikiing and stuff, um, you're probably going to have at least two, three cocktails on a regular day, right? In each setting um, or two glasses of wine, something like that. That is like anywhere from fi like $50 on average, right? I just feel like now I look at things like mm, I could have been I could have invested this $50 into this course or this $50 to buy this these products for my business. I just think differently right now. Um, investing in yourself is literally one of the most important things you can do, whether you want to be a hairstylist, a content creator, whether you want to be an astronaut, whether you want to be a teacher, whatever it is, this is not only about beauty, fashion and lifestyle investing in yourself making sure that you are well um your mindset the way you eat the things you put in your body overall the things you put in your brain like the books you read the music you listen to the people you follow on social media all of these are connected to investing into yourself i heavily invest in myself i believe in myself so much and i've gotten to a stage where it, it's i'm not looking for validation from anyone whatever you see me read eat consume whatever it is it is because i am happy doing it um and i now trust myself to know that okay you're gonna be good if you read this you're fine if you listen to this type of music you're good i invest heavily into myself number six i have made minor adjustments to my wardrobe now i was never someone who i I am a very I'm mostly conservative and I'm definitely a minimalist I don't like doing too much I don't like a lot of um, mixture of colors going on at the same time I am very much a minimalist and I absolutely love it but right now I made certain minor adjustments to my wardrobe there are certain things that I don't like to wear that I've never liked wearing and I won't start wearing it now um, you can tell by my past videos if I'm wearing for example I'm wearing a short skirt or shorts i'm not going to be in a crop top um i have to be covered up top if my legs are out stuff like that um i have certain colors i'm now investing in certain colors for that complement my skin tone very well like earlier i made a video wearing red and i just really love how my skin glow wearing the red which you'll see um so there are certain things i did there are certain pieces that i now put aside if it's too short i'm not wearing it again i've never been someone that really wears um outrageous pieces of clothing but i just wanted to make certain tweaks to my wardrobe and to make myself a lot more ladylike than before so i'm a total mix of tomboy and girly girl a total mix but i found that i was getting too comfortable with my tomboy side and it made me lazy and even though i never go out looking trashy or looking to this but i just felt like you shari you have a lot of clothes you have a lot of shoes you have a lot of purses you're gonna have to get out of this lazy tomboy style and put pieces together so i made those adjustments and i absolutely love where i am now making that tiny adjustment into your wardrobe maybe adding a bit of color maybe you can add more white or um, neutral colors whatever it is to tweak how you dress maybe getting things that fit your body type more as opposed to sticking or with trends stuff like that making that adjustment can really change your mood as well so if you feel good if you look good you're going to feel good so making that adjustment i would highly recommend 10 out of 10. number seven this one is so important to me and it is taking accountability now i take when i say take accountability i take accountability in every single situation now even if for example someone did something to me i will i'm at a place now where i'll be like okay i instead of cursing why is this happening to me stuff like that i accept why things are happening to me i will tell myself okay well i had a role to play in this i ask myself what role did i play in this particular situation someone does something to you once twice three times 
you allowed it, right? If you didn't nip it in the bud in the first time and it happened the second time, the third, the fourth, the fifth, it's going to continue. Whatever you allow will continue. So I take full accountability. I don't blame others anymore, just solely blaming others. I take accountability for myself. And there are times I've had situations where me and a particular person will fall out, whether it's a partner, a friend, a family member, whatever it is, I look back on, okay, what did I do in this situation? Did I not communicate well enough? Um, did I say too much too soon or say too much overall? Um, was I completely wrong by saying this or feeling this way? Whatever it is, I I know I had a role to play in it and I take accountability. Whether it solves the problem or not, I take accountability. Number eight, this one, <laughs> I know a lot, listen, I'm a Scorpio and I'm Jamaican, right? If you know Jamaicans, you know that we are big on respect and we are big on energy. Whatever you do, whatever you dish to a Jamaican, they're gonna dish it right back, right? so as is a scorpio so i have a double thing going on with me jamaican and scorpio so that's a tough battle right i no longer reciprocate energy i used to be so petty when i tell you if you for those of you who are watching and you know me you know you know something not telling a lie right i was petty petty and richards i was petty and right now i don't have time for it when i tell you i don't reciprocate energy i fall back i let everybody go anything go i do not care what it is you will not get my energy you will not get the the argumentative you will not get the oh i'm gonna do this back to you you, you just if it's not peaceful if it is not productive if it's not something that'll make me laugh you will not get my energy i do not reciprocate energy anymore if i feel like someone is not being genuine with me if I feel like we're arguing too much or we're butting heads too much, any of those things, I simply will just fall back and leave you alone. Now, depending on the level of our relationship, if we are at that place or we're, we have that kind of relationship where I can say, hey, so I don't know what's going on or lately we've been arguing a lot or um, maybe it is a situation where if we are partners and you know whatever it is as long as we're close i will communicate that something is wrong or whatever it is but if i speak once maybe you'll get me to speak twice again depending on the relationship otherwise if we don't have that kind of relationship i'm falling all the way back i will disappear with the quickness out of your life i absolutely refuse to give negative energy to anyone i cannot allow anyone to come in and disrupt this piece if you're arguing with me online i i don't have time i really don't have the time the block button is there for a reason you are blocked right i'm not going to argue with strangers on the internet i'm not going to argue with anyone that knows me and know that okay maybe i said something or did something that you didn't like you can communicate with me i am very big on communication right so if you know me and you know that you can communicate with me or say shari you know i really didn't like what you said and whatever old shari old shari years ago when i was much much younger teens early 20s probably wouldn't have been so re um how should i say tolerant of certain things right now i am a very changed person you can always come to me and talk to me I would apologize in a heartbeat if I made you feel some kind of way, especially if I didn't mean it, because usually I'm not a malicious person. But we're humans, humans make mistakes. I just, I, but I can't, I cannot, I cannot, and with no apologies, I will not be reciprocating anyone's energy. If your energy is off, if you choose not to talk about something that's bothering you concerning me, I'm so sorry, that's on you, but I will be falling back. No. Number nine. I pay more attention to what people people do more than what they say and I think that goes without saying you know how a lot of times people will tell you whether again whether it's your partner a family member your friend will tell you all these things oh yeah I'm gonna do something or I'm gonna make this change that makes you know that will help our relationship to be better or whatever it is and they don't do it you keep hearing these words but they do the opposite of what they're saying right now i let people 
let's just say it this way let me say it nicely i am now in my mess around and find out stage that's where i am right now i am in my mess around and find out stage so if you want to continue playing victim if you want to continue doing things that are not productive in your life that are not or anything that you know will trigger me and anything that because if we're in a, if we're close or if we're friends or if we're partners you would know stuff about me because again i'm a very open book i am very communicative with the people that i'm close to if it's a stranger obviously a stranger will not know what your triggers are or things that you don't like and stuff like that i'm not talking about those people i am talking about people that you know and you communicate with on a daily basis or a regular basis I am paying attention to what you do once you do the things you do then it's easier for me to make my decision on how we go forward with whatever it is that is going on paying attention to actions is key because words do not mean anything without those actions being um, done with those words and number 10 I pray through every situation now regardless of what religion you are regardless of how you were brought up i can tell you i could not be where i am right now without the grace of god honestly i have a my life story is different and i'm usually a very private person and nosy people will say i'm secretive i'm not secretive. if i'm secretive with you let me just teach you another key thing about shari if i'm secretive with you it's because i don't trust you let's start there but in general i'm a very private person i don't put everything in my personal life out on the internet like i said before a couple youtube videos before um starting a youtube channel was very hard for me but i opened up i'm more open now um i get to choose what i put on the internet right but i wouldn't be where i am right now if it wasn't for the grace of god and the things that i've been through that you guys don't know about some things further along the line um you will find out certain things as i open up more but i pray through everything if it wasn't for god i still wouldn't have my business i made it through covid where there how many businesses do you know that closed down big large corporations closed down um during covid and after covid and here i am a small business owner and i'm still standing as a matter of fact i'm expanding um so many things have happened i have so many things just know that i pray through it all if you do not pray if you're someone that doesn't pray i urge you to start now um i'm not here to preach to anyone i'm just here to tell you that there are things that you do not know that god saved you from you won't know and you won't you will never know because you didn't see it right the same for me there are some things that god saved me from that i have never seen and i'm happy about it but there's a specific story i'm going to tell you guys soon of a situation that happened to me in another video and you will see where sometimes just trusting your gut as i said before trusting your gut like trusting yourself and watching people's actions will teach you to pay attention and you will see that god saves you sometimes from things and people that you might be crying now and wondering why why am i losing this person or why is this not working out for me but i promise you there is there is destiny or there is a reason for every single thing that happened to you stay prayed up because people are peopling out there and it is important to know where you are and you can't know where you are by yourself on your own without prayer so these are the top 10 things i did to change my life and my mindset is so different right now um i'm not a perfect person and i never i will never try to be there's not one single person that is perfect but i am very firm with who i am now and like i said i'm so sorry i haven't been putting out videos as much but i'm gonna always be that person that if i'm not feeling my highest self i'm gonna take a step back i heavily believe in breaks mental health breaks and right now i'm feeling great i'm very happy i've been very busy though i've been very very busy but i can't tell you guys certain things yet till i can't tell you yet i can't tell you but i promise you when i tell you you'll understand why i didn't tell you okay 
thank you guys for watching i'm gonna give you a little bit of outfit of the day as i'm about to head out to a little solo brunch vibe um that way you can see what i'm wearing and i'll vlog a little bit of it so i can share it in my next video okay ciao bella